Hello everyone, today I'll be talking about seashore litter, which is basic, basically trash in our seashore. Before we go any further on this video, let's look up on Google why this is important. So as you may have noticed, I'm not saying the V word at all, since due to my accent it always sounds like I'm saying a bad word. So to avoid any confusion, I'm just going to say seashore litter. So the first website we find right here it's by the Marine Conservatory Society and it takes you to this article that talks about other stuff but at the bottom it talks about uh, seashore litter. So now we are going to read a little bit about uh, this part, this last part that says litter is swamping our oceans and is washing up on beaches kills wildlife, looks disgusting, is a hazard to our health, and it costs millions to clear up. There are nearly 2,500 items of rubbish for every kilometer on a beach. Marine wildlife gets entangled in litter and accidentally ingests it. Turtles mistake plastic bags for jellyfish, and the bags block their stomach, often leading to death from starvation. Seabirds mistake floating plastic litter for food, and over 90% of full mars found dead around the North Sea have plastic in their stomach. Plastic litter on beaches has increased 140% since 1994. Plastic never biodegrades, it just breaks down into small pieces but does not disappear. Microplastic particles are now found inside filter heating animals and among sand grains on our beaches. Litter comes from many sources, the public, fishing activities, sewage pipes, and shipping, but it's all preventable. Now you may be wondering, how can we prevent all this? Well, let me tell you. One thing we can do is clean up our beaches. I know, I know, it sounds like a tedious work, but if you get a couple of friends or maybe your class, y'all can go together and just pick up trash. This might seem like you're not really doing too much because there is a lot, a lot, a lot of trash in the ocean. There are 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic debris in the ocean. Of that mass, 269 tons float on the surface while some 4 billion plastic microfibers per square kilometer litter the deep sea. And we have heard this from Alex before. I believe it was one of the first questions he asked us when this class started and he continuously repeated that throughout the three weeks that we've been in this class. And like I was saying, it doesn't seem like you're doing too much for the ocean, but at the same time, it is better than doing nothing. Uh, you might save a bird or a fish and that's better than not saving one at all. Uh, so again, just grab a couple of friends or your class, go to the seashore and just clean up as much as you can. I'm sure that if more people see you doing this, they will be more motivated to clean up their space after they leave and this will prevent a lot of trash going to the ocean and potentially harming the animals that live in the ocean and as a consequence harming yourself as well. So next time that you are at the seashore, please pick up your trash so that we can have better oceans that we can enjoy for a long, long time. Thank you so much for your time and I hope you all enjoyed this video.